In this video, we're going to continue looking at factoring by grouping. When we factor by grouping, we know we have to split the polynomial in half right after the second term, and then we'll factor the greatest common factor out of the left and right sides. Our hope is we'll end up with a matching binomial GCF. First, we're going to look at 12AB minus 14A plus minus 6B plus 7. As usual, we split down the middle right after the second term. On the left side now, we look for the GCF. Of 12 and 14, it's going to be 2, and they also have an A in common. Factoring out 2A, we're left with 6B minus 7. On the right side, however, as we look for the GCF, you notice there's nothing in common between the negative 6B and the positive 7. If there is nothing in common, we still want to factor something out as we factor by grouping. If all else fails, everything is divisible by 1. And since there is a negative in front of the first term, we'll factor out a negative 1. Be careful with our signs as we end up with 6B and negative 7 when we divide each of those terms by negative 1. Sure enough, when we use this method, we do end up with matching binomial factors. 6B minus 7 becomes our first factor, and 2A minus 1 becomes the next factor. We have now factored our polynomial. This next example has a very similar theme to it. We have 6X cubed minus 15X squared plus 2X minus 5. As usual, when factoring, we split down the middle. When factoring by grouping with four terms, we split down the middle after the second term. On the left side, we look for our common factor, which is 3X squared. Oops, wrong color. 3X squared, there we go. When we factor 3x squared out, we're left with 2x minus 5. On the right side, we see there is no common factor between the 2x and the minus 5. As usual, if there is no common factor, we will at least factor out a 1. Because we have a positive in front of the first term, it's going to be a positive 1. This leaves 2x minus 5. This does work for us, giving us matching binomial factors. 2x minus 5 is our first factor. And finally, 3x squared plus 1 is our next factor. When factoring by grouping, if there's no GCF, we'll simply factor out a 1 as a factor and continue on as always.